Hey everybody, it's Karen, uh, back again, uh, Karen from Marco Acrylics, back again to finish off the last of the rounds. Uh, one more to do today, um, it's several hours later from the last pour, still haven't uploaded the first video, so you'll get a twofer. Um, going to attempt a 16 inch round, I have nothing to show you because I showed you all in the last video, so uh, I'm just going to get right to it. Keep going, keep going. And then let me raise it up. <laughs> what was that? Check it out. How do I make it stay? Tighten that up. Pretty good. You can see I dumped a bunch of white on my uh, scrape canvas. Um, change of colors, too. Pouring medium colors, as usual, will show up on the screen. One to one ratio with water for consistency. Um, before I add my treadmill, my spot on treadmill silicone, I'm going to show you the consistency right there. Don't worry about how it pours off the stick. Forget about all those analogies about warm honey and, and ice cream, melted ice cream. You're looking, you don't care about how it runs off the stick, you care about what happens when it hits the uh, paint in the cup, how long does that trace last before it disappears? I like it to last a good second and a half before it disappears. I find that to be not too thick and not too thin. Pretty much Goldilocks perfect. I'm gonna find a clean spot. I'm just gonna go ahead and layer my colors. Maybe I should do it. Oh, that has a white on it. Where can I do it where you guys can see? I'll stick it right here in this dirty. Why not? I'll just plop it right there. And load up my colors. Let me check out my white. Make sure that's okay too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a little white to start off. And let's go with. Oh, gotta add my uh, silicone. Let me put. Two or three drops in each. And give those a mix. Came to close to forgetting that time, right? So mark your calendars. I'm going to do my next live auction on Sunday, May 19th at 3 o'clock Eastern Daylight Saving Time. Uh, Put it in the description and my Facebook page and everywhere else I can think of. And then about three or four days beforehand, I will do a preview video. Like last time, I will reach out to a couple of you who volunteered to help me moderate. I'm gonna take people up on that offer and uh, give it a second go. There will be a, a few smaller pieces, but the majority of it, I think I'm gonna have about 25 pieces, will be uh, 10 by 20 or larger this go around. So uh, stay tuned for that. I don't know if I like that brown, but too late now. In fact, I'm not, I'm not so sure I'm enamored with this color scheme all the way around, but I've already committed and mix up the order a little bit. This is the, uh, I have one 10 by 20 and then the rest of my canvases are large. So I think the next one I'm going to do will either be an 18 by 24 or 15 by 30. So, see I like those three together. Let's see.
Oops. I started making colored sticks too to resin so that I can stop buying sticks again and have reusable sticks. I got six of them here already drying. That should do me. A little white on top, top and bottom. Good to go. All right, let's see what happens with this guy. Big sticky mess on the bottom. gloves. I feel kind of talked out. So if I get quiet, it's just because I'm talked out. So let's see what happens. I'm just going to go straight up this time and wreck it. Lost a little bit of the orange, but it's subdued, so I kind of don't mind it. I'm just going to tilt this a little bit and then torch. Not a lot. I really like the pattern I have so far. Just something like that. That's good. But that was an exercise in popping bubbles, and there's more bubbles. Yeah, it's right here in the white. And <laughs> even though it's probably going to get poured off, just let me get all the bubbles off the white. All right. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try and keep some orange. That all I, that's about all I know. Easy sides first. I'm gonna wait on this other end just to uh, stretch out and keep that orange kind of like balanced. And then kind of wiggle off. I need to wiggle off a little on my end. Good. Good. And then bring it back. A 
lost a good bit of the brown too. I'm pouring some off of this one end because there's just too much. Bringing it back. It's just hella boring. It's just so boring. Oh my God. This is boring as all get out. Totally. Crying out loud. I mean, it's perfectly fine. It's balanced. It has nice cells. <sighs> this is boring. Boring. Did I mention that I thought it was boring? What can I do to it? This is so boring. I'm staring, contemplating. What's it look like to you guys? Do you think it's boring? Hold on one sec. Yep, that's what it needs. Mixing up some red. Need to grab a stick. Hold on. All right. I'm gonna mix up this red. It's a really good red, too. This is Carmine Red by Amsterdam. It's not blue. It's not a blue red, and it's not an orange red. It's just red. It's gorgeous. I love a dash of water to that because it's definitely too thick. And I just realized I left out a color. I left out an entire cup of copper. <laughs> so, let's see if we can jazz this up. Mm, so a little thick. Then on. Oh, that's pretty great. All right. Orange, you're a goner. Turquoise, blue, brown, copper, maybe with a dash of black. All right, ready to go again. spot on to my copper and my red. What color do I want first? Go with this light blue since there's only a little bit left. And then put the red. And then 
turquoise. I like the copper and red together. <gasps> Butterfingers. Turquoise, kill off the light blue. Earlier, we have uh, a fox family behind our house, which has an open field, and we're uh, we live in a neighborhood um, that's surrounded on three sides by a public golf course. So there's a lot of open land and a bunch of woods, which is awesome. But this little fox couple are mating and it is the most awful sound you have ever heard. I was like, chow, what the hell is that? It sounds like somebody dying. And that was them. All right, this better work because I'm uh, out of paint. Yep. This be it. Bye bye, ugly, boring, not ugly, but certainly boring painting. Rinse off my fingers. That was cool. That was a cool bubble. Is there anything left in here? Not really. Everything's been a do-over lately. I don't know what my deal is. I'm never happy. A year ago, I would have been thrilled up with that painting. Like over the moon. And now I'm just like, meh. Not good enough. What are you going to do? Picky in all caps. My hands are damp. Can't get my glove on. Close enough.
Here we go again. Again. stretch this way a little stretch this way give a torch lost my black lost my blue Let's see. Yeah, I don't like you, Caterpillar. Bye-bye. Alright. Back to the middle like the colors a million times better. Way, way better. see you, Mr. Caterpillar. You're going to. Or just the edge of you can go off. Let me stop and stare. Can you guys see it? Oh, I'm a little off, aren't I? Hold on. We're about to go this way. Can you see it now? There? There. That is way better. <sighs> so let me stare at my composition a second. interesting colors. I like, well, I don't want to point because my hands are all yucky. Um, I like this. That's a, is that a bubble? Or is that a cell? Oh, that's a bubble. So I like this running through it because I think if it would be all like the red, it would be too much. The copper is great. The black, little specks of black is great. Let's see if I want to go anywhere at all. Um, just to stretch things out a little bit. I'm really worried about, well, I poured a significant amount of paint off, so it should be okay. Um, Maybe a little bit off of this one end, but otherwise, I'm really happy with the composition too. Kind of, yep, just a little bit, because it's really clustered and crowded right here. Um, just like the tiniest of bit. If I can, let's move that down, like stretch things a little more. Have some things go off on that end, and then bring it back. Yeah, see that opened up opened up some cells too. I really didn't lose anything in terms of cell shapes, but on, let me put it down and see what you guys can see. 
I like see here. I don't want to drip on, on in the middle of it. Let me take my gloves off. Like by doing that, it opened up this and this whole area too. Like see how the white is now showing between the cells? Don't want to do anything else? I don't want to torch it anymore because um, I like the little bit of background that I do have. I do like the little touch of black too. And the um, light blue in the turquoise is popping up. There is a lot of copper showing with the red, which is really pretty. Yeah, I'm going to call it done because I'm tuckered mostly. Let me see if I can use my fancy doohickey to uh, go down. I promise to look it up, the device. It'll be, uh, I know I showed in the last video, but I will put the device name in the description for you guys if anyone's interested in buying one of these. So that's closer. Uh, Loosen this. I think it came down a little bit with my phone like that. Let me swivel it away and just pop it off, hopefully. Sorry, that's twice now in a row I've done that, trying to take a take my phone off the contraption. What's it called? The Archon. It's the Archon stand, y'all. Um, let me uh, zoom in for you guys. So, what's this? Smack dab in the middle with the blue cells and the gold. The more I look at this one, the more I'm liking it. Very, very, very pretty. And over here with the copper, right? Pretty, right? And then I, I do like this up here, like that with the um, little bit of uh, background space. It's really not negative space. There's not enough of it, but it really helped break up um, the overall painting. I think it would have been too much without it. So there she be. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Uh, thanks for all the love and support. You guys are just awesome. Um, I'll do another one in three or four days, a big one. Today's Tuesday, probably not maybe till the weekend because I have tennis and whatnot. So, um, yeah, and then um, I'm going to start prepping paintings for the uh, another live auction. Yay! And maybe it might be getting time to do another live pour for fun too. So, uh yeah, I'll worry about that after the auction. I'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.